Go ahead and open up Lightroom Classic CC, and now we're going to learn how to import your photos. First, I wanna give you a quick overview of the program if you're completely brand new to it. Know that this is not a complete Lightroom course from you know every single button to the end. We wanna do a quick dive of how to use the tools to do basic and some advanced edits. And as we go through time, we will continue to add lessons brand new lessons or content from my other full Lightroom class to this photography masterclass so that you have access to our best content so that you don't have to go out and purchase another class unless you want to and unless you want that full sort of class. You have your top menu up here which will get to a lot of things like importing and making quick edits and organization. You have your main window where you have different sort of modules your library is where you organize photos. Your development is where you edit your photos. And then you have these other ones for creating things like books, slideshows, printing, web apps, and even putting your photos on a map. Over on the right and left hand side, you usually have menus for the different options depending on what sort of module you're in. So if you're in the develop module, you'll have your editing options on the right. You'll have other presets and options on the left. We'll go over in the future lessons. Back to the library tab, or really either of these, you have your photo tray at the bottom, which is the photos that are in the current sort of folder that you're going through. And these you can go through and it's an easy way to get from one photo to the next, especially when you're in the develop tab, you can go from one photo to the next. Okay, so that's kind of your crash course of the workspace. How do you actually import photos? The easiest way is when you're in the library module, click this big import button in the bottom left. From there, you pick a source on this left-hand side, and the source is either some folder on your computer or in some sort of uh, media card or external hard drive that you have plugged in. So I have my photos that I wanna import, and you should have downloaded these already if you haven't done so. They're in the Lightroom Classic CC folder. Make sure you download that and unzip the, the photos from there or that folder. And so that's gonna be on my desktop. So I'm on a Mac. This might look a little different if you're on a PC, but that's the great thing about Lightroom is it's good for Mac or PC users. So let's go. There's selecting all my photos for editing and go into Lightroom Classic CC. So when you select the folder, folder that you wanna import photos from, your photo should appear here in this big window in the middle. Here you can select the individual photos that you want to import. You can click this button up at the top left to select all photos or to unselect all photos. For us, we're going to import all of these photos, but if you are importing photos from an entire shoot, you might want to go through them one at a time and choose which ones you want to import um, before actually importing them so you're not dealing with all the photos you don't even want to edit. You can click this button in the bottom left of this window to go through them one at a time, and then I just use the left and right arrow keys to view them one at a time and uh, to see which ones that I want to include in my in my import. Over on the right, you have your options for how you want to import. And so the main thing I want you to look at is add to collection here. And this is sort of a folder that you create to help organize and you can add your photos to existing folders or create a new folder. So you can see here that I have a photography masterclass 2.0 folder that has all the photos that we took in this class. We have a selects folder which has the best photos. I'm going to click the plus button to create a new folder and I'll call this practice edits and then select create and now when we import this it will put it into that folder. You also will notice that here I have unchecked don't import suspected duplicates. Usually I have that checked on because the way that Lightroom works is that it's not actually moving the files or anything once you import them on your computer. They are just, it's just reading from the file that's on your computer. And you don't want to have to end up importing the photo twice 
you don't want to have a duplicate just because it gets a little messy. And so once you've imported it, Lightroom knows if you've imported it. And so if you're going back to that folder and trying to import new photos the next time, it will tell you that those photos have already been imported. Awesome. So this is pretty much all we're going to do. And then click import down here in the bottom right. Once it's imported and you'll see that it goes through this sort of progress bar on the top left, whenever you're exporting or saving or importing, that progress bar will go. And now they are imported and they are imported into a specific folder and catalog. So here on the left hand side, you have a few different options for organizing and adjusting or just finding the photos. So first you have your catalog, which is sort of your general full library of photos. If you wanna see all the photos you've imported, click all photos. If you wanna see your previous import, you click previous import, and there's a couple other options here, but don't worry about those right now. Another way to find your photos is if you want to find photos from a specific folder structure on your computer, and that's under folders. So here I have two hard drives, my Mac HD, that's my home computer, and then my hard drive that's plugged in. So here are all the folders that I've imported in the past from this hard drive. This is the only one that's imported from my computer because I kind of restarted everything from scratch and that's why there's only one. So I can click that and that shows up all these photos. If I click one of these other ones, then this shows all the photo, other photos from day one of shooting the photography masterclass. And so that's the way of finding folder photos based off of where they live on your computer. The last option is through this collections. And this is what I was, we did when we imported, we created a new collection, practice edits. So I can show you that I have the photography masterclass, which is all the photos, the selects, and now these photos are the same as that are in our folders. It's just organized in a different way. And so from here, we can create new collections. We can also add photos from one collection to another or completely new photos into a collection. If you're in the library and you wanna do that, just select the photo or multiple photos. And then you're gonna go down to, where is it? Add to collection. Actually, all you have to do is drag and drop, easier than that. So just drag and drop into the folder that you want. All right, so a couple more things with organization, and that's with these different filters down here. So we're still in the library module, and let's do like a full screen view by clicking this button down here. So here's sort of the grid view, here's the full screen. We can do different things like rating our images, flagging them or unflagging them. And that's usually what I do when I import all my photos, I give them a rating. And they have these star ratings down here and you can either click the star rating that you wanna give it here, or you can press the keyboard shortcut, which I love keyboard shortcuts, which are, is just the number on the top of your keyboard. So one for one star, two, three, four, all the way up to five for five stars. So what I do is I'll go through all my photos one at a time. So this one I set to five, go to the next one and say, okay, this is a four star or three star. This one, uh, that's a two star. This one's a five star. This is a three star. This is a five star. This is a one star. And then if you want to filter your photos, because say you shot a wedding and you shot 200 photos or a thousand photos or however many, and you only wanna see the five star photos, you can turn on these filters down here. And so it's kind of hard to see right now, but if we click over here to one of these star ratings, you can see that it's showing one star and higher, two star and higher, three star and higher, four star and higher, five star and higher. So that will show you all our five star photos. We can also change the option for maybe the rating is equal to if we wanna see just three star photos or just two star photos. I usually leave it at rating as greater than or equal to because I generally just mark my top photos as five and those are the ones I'm going to edit. Click it again to get rid of that. The other option is to flag. So here's this button here or this little flag option here and you can click that on to flag this photo. 
go to the next one, flag it, flag it, and then say, okay, this one I don't want to edit, so I'm not going to flag it. This one I'll flag, this one I'll flag, this one, no, I'm not going to flag. So if you want to flag, filter by flag now, you can filter by things that are flagged, things that have not been flagged, and the, or with no filter, and then the rejected photos, which is the ones that have been unflagged or deflagged, or I guess it's a rejection flag, which is kind of sad. The last option is to filter and mark by color. So if you wanna say that all my good photos are green, for example, you can right click, set color label to green, for example. And then if you go filter to the green photos, only your labeled green photos will appear. And you can combine these. You can say green photos that have a filter or a rating higher than five. So you can see that you can get really intense with how you labor, label and filter and organize your photos this way. And that's one of the reasons why I think Lightroom Classic CC is one of the best options for professional video editor or photo editors rather, uh, because you can edit a lot of photos at once and stay really organized. All right, so that's enough with the organization and importing. Next, we're gonna move on to doing our basic edits.